Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to another day of devotions as we are thinking about what it means to be proactive as living our lives faithfully as followers of Jesus Christ. Those who have built our house on rock it means to prepare, to be aware of things that will be coming in our future, whether it has to do with our, our health or our relationships or uh, the challenges that come at work or school, whatever it is, how do we prepare ourselves for those times? And today we're going to be talking about the importance of preparation. Now, anybody who has been in, um, in school knows that uh, it sometimes gets very dull uh, to have to do all of that studying, but there comes a time when we build those um, neuro pathways that things come back to us when we need them. Um, so studying and preparation is a really, really important time, uh, uh, part of being proactive. Um, and I want to call to your attention, there's a, um, a letter to uh, that's written by Peter, it's called First Peter, um, written to the church, and um, the church is in Asia Minor. And in the chapter, first chapter, verse 13, Peter says this, therefore prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourself, set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Therefore prepare your minds for action. Now again, we talked about yesterday, the importance of being proactive rather than reactive. So part of that being proactive is preparing the mind, preparing the mind for action. Now, what is that about in our Christian lives? Well, I think it's about making sure that we are not just, um, we are not just being, doing the good deeds and serving, which is important, but that we are preparing ourselves. So many times I jump into something before I've really prepared my mind for it. Um, and so being thoughtful, being mindful, we call it, um, is so important in terms of getting ready for whatever the day brings, however we may be challenged in our lives. And, uh, and so today I wanna encourage us to think about what that would mean for our minds. Um, it is, it's being mindful, which is being quiet and opening ourselves, but preparing our minds is also about thinking. And I remember hearing someone, I, I can't remember, he was a, a great uh, business leader, but he said that part of the secret to his success in his business was just taking time for thinking, just thinking. And I don't know if you spend concerted time doing that, just being still and quiet, but thinking, because that's where the Holy Spirit speaks to us. And it's also where we work out some things maybe that we haven't been willing to face about ourselves, about our relationships, um, about our dreams for the future. Um, so as Peter says, prepare your mind, prepare your mind for action, discipline yourselves, set your hopes on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring to you when he is revealed. Maybe so for you and for me, and I just want to invite you, this is going to be a very short devotion today, but I'd like to invite you just to, when you turn this off, spend about five or 10 minutes just being quiet and think. Ask God to help you to think about the most important things in your life. What is going on? How are you, how are, how is your relationship with God? How is your relationships with the people closest to you? In what ways is God calling you to set your mind, your heart on him? Maybe so for you and maybe so for me. Amen and amen. Thank you.